welcome back. It's Nan, and today we have quite the big video for you guys yet again. We are going to be talking about Haven Studio, the partnership that they have with PlayStation for an exclusive brand new IP and some new things happening with the studio and some new people joining. We are going to be talking about The Last of Us remake and some details that have emerged based on a rumor, a reliable one, according to at least what WCCF Tech has to say. And lastly, we'll be talking about London Studios' new multiplayer game that is in the works. We have discussed this in the past, but it seems to have emerged once again, and I want to remind you guys of it as we've probably discussed this like maybe even more than a month ago. Now, before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. Now, let's get started with this video. Now, this comes from Game Infinitus. And it's titled Jade Raymond's Haven Studio, joined by several ex Google Stadia developers. So, Haven Studio was founded by Jade Raymond, if you didn't know this, after leaving Google Stadia. They are working on a brand new IP exclusively for the PS5. This was through a PS5 or PlayStation blog post, and it was a pretty big deal. So, it appears that aside from Jade Raymond, there are several other former Google Stadia games, devs, executives who have joined the new independent studio. And these list as former general manager of Google Stadia Games, Sebastian Puel started this month and is one of the co-founders. Corey May is the studio's world IP director, previously Google Stadia Games head of creative services and publishing. Jonathan Dankoff is Haven Studios insights director, previously staff UX researcher. Erwin LaRosic and Francis Denoncourt joined the studio as concept artists. And Pierre-Marc Berubi joined as software engineer, previously graphics programmer at Google Stadia. Now, I may have butchered quite a few names there, but this is a pretty big deal. These are a lot of people that are coming over to uh, Jade Raymond's studio. Like, Haven Studio was kind of seen as, oh, this is just a brand new, fresh thing. There's not much that we know about it. We have a lot of people coming in right now, and I think that this may be a more ambitious game than we might have thought at first. I'm quite curious to see where this is going to go. Now, keep in mind, we don't really know anything at all about this game. We just know that there are some pretty big names working on a project for them, and this could be massive, but this also could not be massive, right? Like, I mean, it could go either way, but, but when you have this many well-renowned people, I think only greatness can come from it, or more likely greatness will come from it. But I'm pretty optimistic about the future of Haven Studio and what we could see. And who knows, maybe if they do something real, real incredible, they could form a permanent partnership with Sony down the line. We'll see what happens. I am looking forward to seeing what they can come up with. When you have that much talent, only greatness is what I believe can happen. On to our next topic, and we are talking about The Last of Us Remake, and this comes from WCCFTech.com, titled The Last of Us Remake Won't Be a Simple Resolution and Performance Upgrade. Yes, of course, when we put Remake in the title, that's the expectation, although some seem to think that it might be more of a remaster, at least I think it's just a common misconception more than anything. But it goes on to say the rumored The Last of Us remake is not going to be a simple resolution and performance upgrade according to an online report. So Game Reactor, which proved to be reliable in the past, revealed in a new report that the yet-to-be-announced remake isn't going to be in the vein of the PlayStation 4 remaster. The PlayStation 5 remake will take advantage of the console's power and of the features seen in The Last of Us Part 2 engine, improving not only graphics, but a few other unspecified things. The exact quote says, While it would have been a lot of fun to see the world's reaction to a surprise reveal of this project, Schreier's report about what's been going on at PlayStation Studios lately spoiled it to some degree. I say to some degree because people seem to think this will basically just be in the vein of The Last of Us Remastered. Let's not blow expectations out of the water by hyping it up too much, but this won't be a simple improvement of resolution, frame rate, and textures. The kennel is going to really take advantage of PlayStation 5's power and features with The Last of Us Part 2 engine, not just in the terms of graphics, but a few other things as well. And this is really what I was trying to say in my last few videos about this. I know I did a poll and a lot of people didn't want a remake of this game. They said it's way too soon. I get that you might want something else from Naughty Dog and that's perfectly fair. I'm not saying you should have to want this remake, but downplaying what this could do for the, the original The Last of Us, I think is, is maybe short-sighted. And the reason I say that is if we look at The Last of Us Part Two. 
Let's not even look at all the awards. Let's just look at the technical marvel that it is. I've said this over and over again. Gameplay perspective, it's incredible. Graphics, incredible. Animation, everything is so nice on it. Imagine that coming to The Last of Us, which everybody praised and loved. So what reason would you not have to love The Last of Us Remake? So for me personally, being that I found The Last of Us Part 2's gameplay to be top tier and The Last of Us the original to have kind of more of a slow paced gameplay that I wasn't as much of a fan of, I feel like it's going to be awesome. It's going to be refreshing to see that Last of Us Part 2 gameplay mechanics and kind of the systems that we see there make it in the original. This is going to be pretty awesome to see once we see it. I really believe that people feel a type of way right now about it because of the way it got announced. Not so much because it's The Last of Us being remade. That's just my opinion. I'm really looking forward to this remake. I am definitely going to buy it. I'm definitely going to play it. It's going to happen. I can't wait to see what they do with it because I know how capable the studio is. So that's my opinion on that. I know not everybody shares that opinion. That's perfectly fine. I'm not saying you sh you have to or you should, but I'm just throw my two cents out there. Now, lastly, I wanted to talk about this new LinkedIn job posting, which is actually not that new at all. It's uh, for London Studio and their new PS5 exclusive multiplayer game. And this is for the multiplayer gameplay designer. We talked about this in a previous video. Of course, it wasn't as known about before. I didn't see it anywhere on the internet, but here we are. It's rotating on the internet again, cycling through, you know, all these different uh forums and places and I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about it again you know just throwing it out there that PlayStation 5 will have an exclusive multiplayer game coming straight from London studio there isn't too much detail here on what it could be all we know that is it's going to be a multiplayer game based on the job posting really nailing down that this is a multiplayer experience that they want people to enjoy it with their friends and share it with their friends so this could be very well anything. Some people feel like it might be related to the getaway. Some people feel like it may not be related to the getaway. It's really hard to say because there isn't much detail here, but there it is again for those who had missed it that this is going to be London Studios multiplayer game that is going to be a PS5 exclusive. But that's all I have for you guys in today's video. I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think of this new uh, event that has occurred with Jade Raymond's Haven Studio, a bunch of people joining? Could this end up being a lot bigger than we may have anticipated in the first place? How do you feel about the details that have allegedly leaked about The Last of Us remake or the rumor that is going around that it's going to be much bigger than a resolution and performance upgrade. Are you surprised by that? Was that an expectation? And what do you want to see London Studio do as a PS5 exclusive uh, from a multiplayer perspective? What title do you want to see? A new IP? Do you want to see a, an older IP? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description. And share this video with a friend. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.